The Thursday Murder Club, the record-breaking Sunday Times number one bestseller by Richard Osman. I have always enjoyed watching Richard Osman on TV, in fact one of my favorite programs is Pointless. So, my ears pricked up when I briefly heard someone on the radio mention that he'd recently penned his first ever novel. After listening to the outline of the book which, amongst other things, entails four elderly friends whose hobby it is to solve murders, well I just had to order myself a copy. This is a typical, very English, whodunit, featuring eccentric characters who come alive on the page. The principal players are, Elizabeth, ex-spy chief, Joyce, former nurse, Ibrahim, retired psychiatrist, and Ron, ex-trade union boss, who reside in a gated retirement village situated on the south coast. These are folk who I soon came to care about, despite their individual flaws. They may be fictitious, but Richard effortlessly brings them to life, and gives each a unique personality of their own. Old age can sometimes be a burden to them, and they may have to endure certain physical and mental issues, but combined they are still a force to be reckoned with. These amateur sleuths are also somewhat unorthodox when it comes to the methods they employ to investigate and potentially trap a killer. Despite murder being the theme running through this excellent novel, this is very much a cozy read. It's clever, it's sad, it's moving in places, and it's wickedly funny throughout. You know, these are difficult, worrying times we find ourselves in, and so we all occasionally need a break, a diversion, some form of escapism, and if that's what you're looking for, then reading this book is one way of achieving that. I'm not easily amused, but I have to say that at times the Thursday Murder Club had me in fits of laughter. This novel is the perfect antidote to the sometimes depressing stuff that has been going on around us of late. My advice is to get your hands on a copy of this book ASAP, then sit back in your favorite armchair, with a mug of tea and a plate of biscuits at hand, and just lose yourself in this compassionate, witty mystery created by the inimitable Richard Osman. All that's left for me to add is that I really cannot wait for the next book in the series. Living in a retirement village isn't usually the way to come to the notice of the local police department or become part of an exclusive club investigating an actual real-life killing. This is what happens to Joyce however, as she becomes the newest member of the eponymous Thursday Murder Club. She joins Elizabeth, Ibrahim and Ron, a small group of residents, whose individual strengths have come together as a force to be reckoned with, especially when it comes to unorthodox ways of gathering information. The local police, having to follow the more accepted means of investigation, have some qualms about joining them when invited but their goals are the same, aren't they? Richard Osman, the well-known presenter of House of Games and Pointless on the BBC, always comes across as a thoroughly nice guy. As an author, his intelligence and imagination have been given free reign and the resulting work is very good. People in his fictional world, it would seem, are, for the most part, decent, but all have skeletons they would far rather stayed hidden. He uses this fact to create believable, empathetic, and well-rounded characters which, added to an excellent plotline and understanding of human nature, produces a novel which is both cozy and crafty in equal measure. I thoroughly enjoyed this book, it flowed and moved along at a good pace. I had no problem working out who done it, only to find I was totally wrong. By the end I had one part sorted out but the rest, nope, not even close. That doesn't mean it didn't work, it did, brilliantly, especially for a first novel, and the ending was satisfyingly right, suggesting a distinct possibility of more great books in the future. I was able to read an advanced copy of this book thanks to NetGalley and the publishers in exchange for an unbiased review, and would recommend it to anyone who enjoys cozy crime with a bit of a bite or is a fan of the author. In both cases you won't be disappointed and I hope this will be the first of many Thursday Murder Club books as well as the beginning of another successful part of Mr. Osmond's future career. I thoroughly enjoyed this gentle murder mystery. The characterizations are wonderful and keep you engaged throughout as the story meanders along with many twists and turns. It is not a fast-paced, action thriller, but is nevertheless an intriguing mystery told with sensitivity and humor. I can't wait for the second book. A cozy, and exclusive, retirement village in the beautiful Kentish countryside. A greedy developer. A young female cop who's inexplicably moved from big city excitement to sleepy Kent. And a quartet of elderly residents whose favorite part of the week is their club meeting, where they discuss unsolved murders and try to come up with the culprit. Until, that is, murders start occurring in their own neck of the woods. The Thursday Murder Club is the debut novel from a well-known, in England, quiz show host, which you wouldn't think would necessarily mean he'd be a good writer, but Mr. Osman is just perfect, at least with this book, blending humor and pathos with tremendous compassion and just enough acidity to keep things lively. 
This is one of those books where the reader keeps on hoping that they'll never reach the end of it, because then it will be over and how sad will that be? Joyce, Elizabeth, Redron and Ibrahim are wonderful elders who remind us that people who are old have stories to tell, and Donna and Chris are the most sympathetic coppers one can imagine. I really, really hope there will be more adventures from this group, very highly recommended. Richard Osman is an author, producer and television presenter. The Thursday Murder Club is his first novel. He is well known for TV shows including Pointless and Richard Osman's House of Games. As the creative director of Endemol UK, Richard has worked as an executive producer on numerous shows including Deal or No Deal and 8 Out of 10 Cats. He is also a regular on panel and game shows such as Have I Got News For You, Would I Lie To You and Taskmaster. Click link in description for more reviews.